spend, spend, don't just like spare, obviously. Life or night, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Yeah. We will show that we are better than them. That we are not killers. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the yes! neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Oh, Two policemen were found in a state us. of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, you, according public. to our sources, they confirmed that Get the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming Please. situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids Just become be a threat lady. to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Anybody. your interior decorating it really reflects your personality I mean I like it <laughs> you say you like my room you like my room why why thank you my friend thank you so much this is the room where I sleep and I work in oh my <laughs> what a random compliment <laughs> start Oh my god, what? Oh my god, that was so random. November 9th. 11.17 a.m. Champion boy. The best friend. Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Let's get out of the car. Everyone okay, Hank? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. University of Colbridge, uh, 14th of the 5th, 78, died 24th of the 2nd, 
27. Elijah Kamsky, AI graduate at University of Cambridge. Oh. So the Amanda that we're talking to is a artificial, like, interface? Like, made by Kamsky? Oh. Guess androids yes, haven't been a bad that? thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, okay. Connor. How's it feel? Uh, uh, I don't know. Impatient. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, and this pitch is creepy. Elijah Kamsky, Cyberlife founder, resigned 2028, so 10 years ago. Inventor of Ethereum and Biocomponents Technology. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. You just picture him as a criminal mastermind. Guess we wait here for the android. We went for our main menu friend. So, uh, Hank, how's, uh, how's life? I know it's pretty shit. Oh, dead, dead. Yeah, well, you could have shown us. Glad you will see you now. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Mr. Well, Kamsky. Just, the, the, the lights. Like just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Did you predict this or something? Uh, help Deviant Spires war. Yes, war! If a war breaks out between humans and Deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. Please take it seriously, for God's it's sake. quite a serious matter. Exactly. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about... Whose side are you on? Uh, uh, excuse me? This is not about me, Kamsky! It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. Of course. But you. What do you really want? Oh, are you really gonna go there? You really gonna go there? Really? What I want is not important. Chloe? Where, 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 where? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of That's algorithms and computing capacity. <laughs> oh, this is weird. What interests me 
It's whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. I'm getting a bit of a creepy vibe going from them. Young and beautiful forever. Oh, a flower vibe. that will never wither. Oh, yeah. What is it really? Creepy vibe. Piece of plastic containing a human? Jesus Christ. We're a living being. What are you doing? With a soul. Don't tell me. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. No! Or spare it. <laughs> if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh, come on. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? What the? Decide who you are. What? Uh. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. You That's see? enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. No. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what I you want to know. Oh, God, no! No! Oh no! Why you gotta put me in this in this predicament? If I shoot, if I shoot Chloe, he gives me information. Of, <laughs> if I don't shoot, he won't tell me shit. No, no, this is not happening. You're sick, Kamsky. You're sick. No. Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? <laughs> you know what? I, I I can't do it. I can't do it. I just I, I just can't. It'll cost me some information, but I just can't. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant, goddammit! I'm, I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. You're sick. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Yes. Thank you, Hank. Get me out of here. Get me out of here right now. Get me away from that twisted sociopathic... By the way, Bastard. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Yeah. You're sick, Kamsky! You're sick! Hey! S-I-C-K SICK! Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. I'm going That's deviant. All. <laughs> just we're saying you didn't do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Please on my back. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, thank you, Hank. Thank you. Oh, Hank, I love you. Oh, Hank, I love you. I want to hug you. Hug me, Papa Hank. Oh, I feel better. I feel better. Hank Foot kind of made the right decision. Thank the Lord and all of his stars. <sighs> it's like Kamsky like, predicted that this whole deviant, the, the androids would go deviant. Oh, uh, I missed that. 
Beautiful. Look at my mouth is with the shoes are a bit ugly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These are some ugly shoes. wondering where you were. Hey, North. Yeah, I needed to think. You know, I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. Last night was overwhelming. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Oh, really? I didn't notice. Uh, yeah, follow us. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary. It's scary that they follow the you, though. When you say that... All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. But they've only just found a new mouse. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Now, come on, North. Not all humans are bad. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I tell you my story, will you tell me your story? Uh, listen. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. Yeah, I got it, Papa. He showed me Papa that humans Carl. and androids can live together. Um, and you? What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, come on. Yes. Hey, North, how about your sister self? That android you were looking at in the store. I would never let that go. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? That joke is mine. Uh, yes, North. North, we're fighting together. No things. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We're fighting together. I was nothing. Were we all? A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. I think I know where this is going. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Oh, I definitely know where this is going. One day I was with a man who rented me. Oh, I definitely know. You don't have to tell me no more. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I understand. I strangled him and I ran away. Oh, there, now you know everything. It's okay. <sighs> I shouldn't have told no, you. No, 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 no. Can I? It's okay, Nora. It's okay. Well, no. What? What was that? Your memories. Carl's house. Huh? When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. North. North.
Jericho. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. All right, with Josh and this one. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the Simon? only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. His face looks pretty weird then. <laughs> I like where this is going. You. You're free. Yes, join us. Join the clan, everybody. Come with us. Yes. You don't have to obey them anymore. You're awake now. Yes. Our eyes are now wide open. More androids! You! Join our ranks. You're free. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Welcome to the world. Seven androids. Nice. We like our numbers. They're rising. Oh, finally. This guy. I've been on only ten minutes. You're oh, free. Sorry, now. Ralph! Yeah, really Just about the hey! Space. Where do you think hey! you're going? Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Yeah, buddy. You're free. I need to block the street. Yes. You don't have to obey the humans anymore. Sister, welcome to the light. All right, now convert my androids. <laughs> What's <is> this? <gasps> it's another car model, but it's not our girl. I know what my girl looks like, and that's not my girl. It may look like my girl, but it's not my girl. It's not. No, it's not. 25. You know where I... Let's march! Yes. Andrew, fights. Join our ranks! You don't... You no longer have to obey them anymore! All 50 in our ranks. We're growing. That's it. That's it, my brethren. Smile for the drone! You over there! You over there! Come forth! And march with your people!
Rex doesn't obey you anymore. Rex is old man. Demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we Man, look will at shoot. Jesus, those are big Marcus, ass lips. They're gonna kill us. We have oh, to fuckers. attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even Josh if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go Come now on, before it's too late. We're up here for God's sake. This is your last chance! He'll be there. He'll be this these guys are wrong if they or you won't be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Oh god, no! Disperse! This is your oh, last please, chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Come on, Simon. You said please, think about Marcus. public opinion. We can't this let them slaughter us without fighting back. Opinion. We're not moving! We're not moving. See this? You're just proof that you are in the wrong. Yes! Support him! Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill Get us Get in all. there! Oh god. Sacrifice? Get in there. Oh, come on. No! no! Be a lousy shot. Wait, what the? John? John? John! John, what are you doing? No! Oh no! Oh, come on, dude, leave me alone! No! Quick, no! Oh, John, no! 